Oh, here we are at Old Bedford Village. Um, man, that's that's terrible lighting. We uh, it took uh, two hours extra to get here because of Labor Day traffic. Hooray! Oh, clean clean your lens for clear. Uh, there we go. Can I fix it. <laughs> I fixed it. We're gonna set up camp and set up uh, our home for the next few days, and. Yeah, this is uh, Labor Day weekend here, and we always come here. It's always such a great event, and uh, it's just sad that summer's over. Summer's officially over. Home is set up. Just need to do all the fancy stuff here. But this will this will do nicely. Oh yeah, very nice. This will be nice home away from home for the next couple days. Awesome. Now we gotta get all the, the junk out of, out of the car in there and set up. While Christine's back there, a lot of people ask about the, uh, the dark box, the dark box stand. You know what? You just you just start making something till you, Till it works, and, and honestly, I was really lucky with this stand and dark box. I'll show you the dark box soon, but I was really lucky with these as, um, as they kind of worked the first time. As soon as I put the dark box up, this here is the front facing you, but as soon as I put the dark box up, I put two stakes in. Dark box, also CNC'd. Uh, a lot of my a lot of my corner pieces, I, I you know I use thicker pieces for the frame, and then I kind of recess this this smaller wood in here, which which works out really well. And then if I turn it around, this is that safe light window that I really wish I would have made a lot bigger. And then now that everything's on, bring it up here, sit it on the dark box stand. Good morning. It's cold. It was supposed to be mid-50s, to get down to mid-50s. It got down to mid-40s. So I got every, yeah, I got every piece of clothing and every blanket on. Uh, they're going to open the gates here shortly, so I got to make a decision. And I've never not opened, so I guess I gotta get up and get dressed in the cold. It's not, it's not mid forties anymore, but uh, it feels like it. Oh, that hair is great. <sighs> Should keep that. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. That is that unbelievable. Is no, that really That's is awesome. unbelievable. <laughs> it's Sunday, our last day here. What a beautiful day great music. Nice handful of people starting out. Usually Sunday is a little bit slower, but we get we get more people coming up. Um, kind of like at church after lunch. We'll have a, a lot of people. Good, good crowd yesterday. 
breakfast was good this morning. Eggs and grits. Not sure what lunch is going to hold, but uh, no dinner tonight like last night. Last night's dinner was so good. And then, um, and then we stayed up kind of late playing cards with friends. Played a game called Whist. Whist? Whist? I don't know. It's a lot of fun. Old, old, old card game. Three dates poker. I think they said uh, late 1600s, maybe? I'm not really sure. But uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good friends. Good company. Okay. A little bit of light in here to pour the plate. Perfect. Quarter plate tin type. Holder. All right. Window back in. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to get some water and I'll be right back. Maybe. All right. Magic time. Half plate holder. Here it is. No light. Except, of course, the red light. All set. Okay. bit on some faces that are in shadow. Good to go. Mm, nice. Uh, Very good work, John. Very nice. Thanks, sir. There's camp in the back. Christine's got the car. It is after five o'clock here at Old Bedford Village. And what a good uh, good ending ceremony. Great, uh, great time, great amount of people here. And everybody that usually comes to Bedford is uh, very interested in a lot of a lot of the history. They have good questions, great, you know, great crowd of people. So um and you've got so many great people here to answer those questions. And I've probably already said this before, but I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're in the area, check out Old Bedford Village's calendar. I'm gonna try to link it in the description below. And come out, come out and support them. This is such an amazing, magical place and such a beautiful location that it's a, uh, it's a, uh, this place is important. It's extremely important for uh, just history, just when history is concerned. So come on out, have a good time. And if you don't live in the area, find a place like this. Find a place that really tries to keep history alive and, uh, and help support them. Uh, whether, it's a, uh, whether it's a ticket to go in and, and see what they've got set up or whether it's uh, maybe volunteering. A lot of these places, they really need people to volunteer for several different things. Oh, I'm sure I'm blown out. They need people to volunteer. They need people to, you know, they need craftspeople. They need people that can tell history and talk a little bit about history. So I, I urge you to find a place near you and help them out because God knows they, they could use it. Uh, we want to thank everybody who came out to see us came out to see the the wonderful craftspeople and living historians here at Old Bedford Village and 
uh, of course, the uh, the coordinators of of this event, and of course, the village itself. Uh, we 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 always feel so welcome and so at home here, and uh, and and that's a, a big part of of the 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 role they play, and they make sure that uh, that everybody here is treated very very nicely for their uh, their generosity and volunteering to come out, and uh, and just help help tell history a little bit. Yeah, my hands. That's tin typist hands right there. That's the silver nitrate, and uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, doesn't doesn't that bad for your health? No, the silver nitrate, like uh, some of the other nasty chemicals we we work with, uh, it's not big enough of a molecule to get through the skin. So, so that's a good thing. That means I've made a lot of plates today, and uh, made a, a lot of people some some wonderful family heirlooms that hopefully they take care of, and will last them generations. I mean, you know, we, we had a lot of families and uh, more sp more spectators, more attendees than usual at this event got tin types made. In fact, we almost ran out. Uh, I, I probably couldn't shoot another another half day just because we've uh, we, we brought uh, double than we thought we would need, which is more than we knew we would need. Some kind of weird math there, but we brought uh, way more than we thought we would need. And we almost ran out. So next year. Next year we'll bring more. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit, and uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.